welcome to another episode of Stock Talk. I am your host, Mike, and with me I have Kage. How's it going, Kage? Uh, doing good. I'm uh, eating dinner right now, but I'll help you do these stocks. Yeah, so. they uh, looks like they're out uh, doing the doing the, the Vegas thing and things like that. So uh, we got a decent show planned for you. We're going to talk about the used car market cools as prices plunge to a one-year low. Uh, this is off of Zero Hedge and Tyler Durden. In April, while wholesale used vehicles were at record highs, we asked what used car prices were at the peak for the real time. We pointed out one month later that used prices are crashing at an all-time all uh, near record pace. The latest Mayhem used vehicle index uh, that tracks dealers pay for what for used car at an auction is approximately one year low at 211.6. Uh, Kagi, what do you think about that so far? Well, used cars are a good thing to uh, get started into the um, into the whole society with uh, kids and whatnot. Usually, uh, their their first car will be a used car. I mean, that's how I was raised, anyway. Are you hearing from some of the salesmen that what I'm hearing as well is that they're all overpriced too, and they're slowing down as well? Uh, yeah, with uh, how things are in the uh, culture market i guess you could say that trickles down to economic markets um it looks to be that people are starting trying to demonize cars for whatever reason because they are they burn hydrocarbons or whatever and they're trying to get people onto this lunatic energy scheme called green energy with all these green cars but Ultimately, people are people don't necessarily have a lot of disposable income for a new car. And as such, they usually go for used cars. But now the market is such at a high at a high right now for used cars, it's basically you're basically better off waiting until the price comes down to actually buy a used car. And sometimes you can actually get a new car for the price of a used yeah depending on where you go one sec i gotta get these guys guys i'm gonna have to edit this out what do you need the charger i need it for the computer there's a charger in in the thing guys what thing? it's in the it's in the room the bedroom what bedroom your bedroom i always charge my phone with well it was before but it's okay, well, I don't have a charger for the laptop. What? Mason? There's a charger. Ethan's got his charger right here. It's. Yeah, seriously. Okay. One, two, three, check, 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 go. It looks like used car prices dropped to a one-year low plunge, uh, the most since April of 2020. Uh, so uh, there you have that. Remember we had that spike and people were buying and buying and you saw the craziest prices? Well, mm. now you can't even give them away. Uh, they're, they're, we're at the stuck there. We're, we're at the sticking point. The index declined 3.6 from July from 15 days of August, but is still up 8.8 .8 from August 2021. Uh, the monthly slump was a mostly significant drop since April of 2020. So there's the chart right there. Cox Automotive Analyst citing uh, wholesale used vehicles should should continue through August and SUVs and pickups saw the most declines in value and auctions and minivans uh, fell less, likely function within the thin supply. They, they The compact car auction prices remain stable noting it was likely more demand because of the elevated fuel costs. Yeah, you're going to continue to see that because with the fuel costs, uh, they're, they're supposed to be doing a, a deal with uh, uh, Iran, if you haven't heard about that, uh, with the nuclear deal. And they're supposed to be flooding uh, the market with some cheaper oil, supposedly, but that comes at risk there, Kage. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, all too often we see these people try to beg for oil instead of tapping their own tapping their own wells for oil and 
trying to get people back to work. Yeah, the regime's playing a dangerous game of fire, considering uh, when you're dealing with when you're dealing with them, the 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 mullahs are going to you know demand a lot for if they're going to give up that that oil. So it's going to be interesting to see. Uh, they're they're not going to play patty cake with the Biden regime, that's for sure. Uh, a metric called daily inventory of how long dealers take out to sell cars at current sales rate if they could acquire a new stock was uh, a new stock was eight days higher than a year ago as the nationwide supply of used vehicles. So obviously, like we've talked about before, Kage, these prices are going to have to come down uh, for them to move things, especially if they uh, raise the rates there. Uh, which I do see forecoming. Keep we're going to keep on seeing interest rate rises. So because inflation is just uh, out of control, I don't I don't know how they can curb this off. So uh, what else do you have? Uh, I would have to say the uh, when you're getting a used car and everything, make sure that it's that it runs well, that you have interchangeable parts, and that you can easily maintain it by yourself. It's just going to be yeah. easier to do it that way. And uh, let's just say that if you uh, have a new car or whatever, get used to holding on to it for a while. Um, and as far as getting a used car, make sure you take care of it and make sure you don't run it into the ground. If Because you could be in it for an extended period until mm -hmm. costs come down. Better start maintaining and things like that because pri the prices are just going to still continue to go up and uh, you're going to have to pay more well, higher interest rate if you finance and you're going to have to that that's I would that's the best advice is to maintain your car right now. That's that's the one thing right there. Uh, Cox analyst noted that consumer view buys conditions for vehicles declined in August due to the elevated prices and soaring rising interest rates, which we will continue to see. They said that the prior time consumers felt this pessimistic about purchasing a vehicle and auto loan, uh, whereas the rate, when rates were this guy was in the early 80s. Yes, they, they were. Most A lot of people were buying stuff cash because it was too expensive. Uh, we are headed backwards. Yes, we are. Looking at the back, uh, bank rate data, rising auto loans for used vehicles may have just enough to crimp in demand for a car price growth on a yearly basis and has cooled rates since the surging first quarter. And you can see that chart right there. Perhaps with rising supply, or sorry, supply rising and affordability woes mounting, we uh, have correctly called the peak in the used car prices between April and May timeframe. Doesn't Zero Hedge and all the other outlets, they always get it right before the alphabets get it right because Zero Hedge does not carry the pom-poms for uh, anybody. They just write uh, their economic views there, and that's why we like them. They're straight up, they call it as they see it. What comes next is the uber hawkish Federal Reserve is pr possibly the implosion of the car bubble, which leaves millions of uh, Americans who bought during the pandemic peak underwater. Uh, just wait. These youngsters with a 1,000 plus monthly payments panic to sell their vehicles as the economy craters. Uh, the car, this is uh, from Dime Opinions. He says, the car market is very big, ugly bubble. Di uh, Mat Matrino Booth did a great episode covering the topic, but his payments uh, people have are unreal. How do we become normal for people for payments to excess a thousand dollars a month? That sounds like rent and not car payments. Yeah, I mean that's the thing is that uh, if you didn't see this coming, guys, I'm sorry, but uh, you got it. If whatever you can do to shred that, shred it as fast as you can because if you can, if it's possible, because. Uh, this thing is not going to end well when it when it hits hard like this. Uh, I'm not saying make do what you got to do, but pay it off as fast as you can. Uh, so don't do anything stupid where you're going to crash the system or anything like that, right, Kage? Hmm. Yeah, just uh, just know where you have your breaking point. Mm -hmm. Just know it's exactly where that is, and uh, just try to make good decisions trim your debt now prepare for tomorrow uh because w th this this thing is going to be worse than 2000 uh 2007 2008 so uh you guys control me if you want but i have my receipts i can go back for long long what what i called so uh and uh what some of the other outlets that we talked uh with uh called it's anyone's guess where the used car floor price uh, supply returns, but Fed crushes demand with rising interest rates. And there you have it. 
that article you could look up by Tyler Durden on zerohedge.com. That was use uh, car market cools. Now we're going into the next stock, Kage. Uh, let me bring it up here on the on the Google machine, and I'm going to go to Market Watch. Terrible, terrible news in the car market there, huh? Well, you try to try to make the most best of it because the car basically replaced the horse. And uh, with how things are going and uh, whatnot, people are going to try to go back to bicycles, I, I imagine. Yeah, I, I just, uh, I feel only, bad. Uh, only there's, some, there's some people who can't necessarily do without their trucks. Trucks yeah. are like one of the most essential things for carrying cargo for where it needs to go. Yeah. And and that can range from bags of cement for the construction companies to different different trailers that people are hooking up to for whatever reason. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how this uh, plays out over time. I'm I'm guessing we're going to see a repeat of where people back in 07, 08, if you weren't, you weren't, if you were in school or so, high school or elementary school back then, uh, people were leaving their cars on the side of the road. Uh, what do we have? Another entr uh, another entrance from somebody. What do we got here? It's the famous uh, from the casino in Vegas. Buffalo. Kameo, what's up? Rock, rock and roll Lex. Because they call me Plex. Where's the camera? Oh, yeah. Got to rock and roll Lex because they call me Plex. Because I love to, you know what I mean? All the bling bling. You just missed it. We were talking about the used car, uh, the used car mess they got going on. You have to tune in back to the beginning of the show there. So back to the hit up. Uh -huh. So it looks like we're going to cover the first stock. Uh, one of the first stocks we're going to talk about, Cameo, uh, we brought it up on the chart here is RBNW. Before we start, do you want to say anything uh, about what, what your adventure has been? It's been wonderful. It's been wonderful. You want to, do you want to give any uh do you want to do some uh man on the street about how the economy is going with some you want to see if you want to interview some people for YouTube or what? I can't right now. I got I'm playing the Buffalo game. Okay. Sweet. Well, he's checking he's checking in from Vegas. If you get anybody that wants to talk, let us know. Just uh we're going to keep on talking if you want to mute the mic or whatever and then uh, if, if there's if it's noisy, if you win something, let us know. Yeah, I will. Okay. So the first stock we're going to talk about is RBNW, RBNW, Renewable Energy Power. Last tick was 0 0.001. Uh, going to the chart, this one's been pretty consistent in for Pennyland. Uh, going into what would you say they do here? Uh, they uh, engage in the development of uh, applications for lighting, uh, emitting, Dialyde lighting and a solar electrical generation. It operates through solar hybrid and LED lights USA division, solar hybrid divisions, and converts solar energy to electricity. The LED lights USA division operates through LED fixtures and components. The company was founded in October 15, 2012, and is headquartered in Brooklyn, the People's Republic of Brooklyn, New York. Uh, going into stock uh, twits, because that's where the real traders are at, Kage, what do you have on the twits? Uh... I'm seeing bulls for this stock. Um, here's a take from Dancing Coyote. He says, RBNW, bullish. This one will surprise people, I think, and it won't take much at all to wipe the ones. With each tick up, there's a 100% profit. I'll take my chances, not missing this one since things heat up. Yeah, uh, what else do you have there? Uh, how about this one from TX Trader Three? He says, "RBNW, awesome news to finally hear. After almost selling and thinking this was dead, this should get interesting over the next few. See more." Okay, and what else do you have? What do you have? What do you have? Do they have any articles? Looking, I'm going to go on there because uh, the Google uh, machine. There's an article from Microaxis about the. It says in the article, potential upside down is 
to 100.0 may cause possible volatility fall for R, B, and W. Wow. That's hmm. pretty That's pretty crazy. I'm just going through uh, – so, did so, someone mention on the top just a second ago about uh, the oil shoe companies coming off of, the, of a cliff there, or, what, or is that just a joke? Uh, I haven't seen any comments that indicate that I'm afraid not. Yeah, that was, that was on, that was just posted new. That's why you didn't see it here. Uh, I'm looking, I'm just looking on the twits for some uh, news articles there. Uh, just keep on going through. If you want to go mention your comments there, I'm going to skip them and go, uh, to, uh, some of, some of the links that we got here. Uh, okay. How about this one from quad four? ws 222 ws he says rbnw was very bullish when they were talking about meeting high demands for the fall line up but really think karen and her family need to be looked at hmm. yeah I, I went on the i went on the stock twits link and i saw i found the the website here this thing looks uh pretty sick witted how they they're under construction there they're doing i guess there's fixing some stuff up uh it says just for lust for life creates a uh, looks of fashion of unique uh individual we're running we're running about the cares and creating uh huh so there you go for the lighting of, of this they got the the models there um won't go anywhere into here sorry just cutting through that was pretty interesting there what else do you have there while i'm looking through some of this someone said okay. something about karen on there mm. I don't know, but here's a take from uh, Matt Rooster. He says, RBNW, bullish. Real products for sale through Walmart and Amazon. That's a better position to be in than virtually any other company trading at this price range. Mm -hmm. I'm holding $7 million and betting the company gets it together at some point. How about y'all? Yeah, I mean, this is, this is a stinking lottery ticket right here. Uh, as far as, uh, with, with people, uh, go, going on with this, I mean, it, it's a decent, uh, I, I mean, it's been around for a while. It, it's not like, a. I didn't see anything. They, they had to put, put the, the, the solar picture right there. That's funny. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen a lot of pump up the jams on this one over the years. Um, it's been pretty, pretty consistent where it's at. Uh, did you see DB day trades uh, on his little chart he put up here or no? Uh, DB day trades. Yeah, there's um, DB day trades. I'm just trying to find a news article, guys. Sorry, there's like no news on here. I'm supposed to be covering the news. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, here's something good right here. This is on Yahoo. This is a little bit old, but we have something there. Let's go into there. Kage, give us some more uh, takes while we're looking through to see check out this article here. Okay, how about this take from... Pepper 2021, he says about this stock. Ooh, maybe maybe not that one, no. Uh, how about this one from... There's a couple of uh, ones from TX Trader and Kiwi Green, but here's, here's one from uh, Kiwi Green. He says, RBNW, will this company start focusing on renewable energy now? Hmm. I guess they're uh, they're trying to diversify things and not necessarily sticking to what their name came from. I guess with the uh, the shoes, apparently that they're trying to use as a byproduct. I guess. Yeah, whatever they got to do, they got some of these companies. They they mix and match and things like that. I'm gonna say that we have to see how this plays out. I want to see. I guess investing 2.0 says why is this coming back at two uh he he was that's what that's what i saw when i saw the shoes i was surprised because i thought R R B N W was something else but uh you know with renewable energy and then we had this pop up so we're just gonna have to see how this all plays out and uh you got any new any other news that you're seeing on this uh not really nothing that's uh not a month old for this one this yeah stock. See, I'm, I'm just not i see i'm seeing february news and things like that I'm going to move on. And guys, if you have any more, if you have any extra DD that we can't find, please post it up there. I just, uh, there's only a certain amount of time that you can go through here. So, uh, 
we're going to go on to the chart of uh, Tiger Oil Energy Incorporated. Last tick was 0 0.020. Go into the chart there. Let's go to the year to date chart here. Uh, this thing was flatlined and all of a sudden it picked up. It's another sub. Uh, do you do you trust do you trust this one at all, Kage? Um, it looks to be like it's kind of hovering around the one point zero one, I think, percent. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. the price is up a hundred percent from where it was, and message volume is at is down a little bit, like at four thirty five percent. So. So I'm not exactly yeah. sure what to make of the uh, the chart. It looks some pretty consistent mm -hmm. where it is at the price point from the year to day chart. Yeah. Um. It looks. Uh, it it just needs to have that little kick to push it off of where it is right now. I think. But, do you think? Do you think after this thing goes to the, let's say, after uh, summer? Things like that. Do you think that after the peak summer season, do you think that possibly could be a time to take a look at it, see if you can get on the cheap before the next summer comes around, or no? Mm, possibly, if you have a disposable income for it, just mm -hmm. be careful with it, I guess. Yeah, it looks like Tiger Oil Energy engages in the exploration, development, redevelopment of oil gas fields. It conducts uh, projects in Kansas and Oklahoma. The company was founded on November 8th, 1993, and is headquartered in Las Vegas, Nevada, where uh, Cameo is at. Uh, going into uh, stock twits, because that's where the real traders are at. Kage, what do you have on the twits? Uh, how about this take from Tainted Eon? He says, TGRO, bullish. All this thing needs is a news update, and it'd be soaring. We have a decent amount of watchers for a... 0 0.0001 stock plus the technology. Not sure what is going on, but Howard needs to either close up shop or make a move. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. I'm, going on the, I'm going on the Twits for news to see if any links are posted because, yeah, he's right. There, This thing is absolutely freaking cold. So we're going on the Twits to look while you're. What else do you got on the Twits? Uh, how about this one from. Jcon9112024. He says, TGRO, this isn't a day flipper, boys. Buy and wait, flip another one. There's millions out there. This stock doesn't care what the MACD looks like. It doesn't care what the weekly or yearly trend is. This is a hunch bet, gambling at its best and purest form. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's not. Uh, it, it I I would say uh, it's not. Th this is uh, he's exactly right. His take. I actually like that take. It was a really good one. Um, just for the fact that uh, yeah, if you can get him in on the cheap, it just depends where your buy point is. Interesting that he brought this up because that you brought this up. There's an article. Uh, it says will Warren Buffett buy Occidental Petroleum? Uh, that was put up there as well. Uh, August 19th, uh, Warren Buffett's holding. This is from Forbes. Uh, Berkshire Hathaway has granted regulatory approval to acquire 50% ownership in the U.S. giant Occidental Petroleum. Occidental was one of the top performing stocks in the entire S&P 500 to, his, uh, to, to this news, but the potential of Buffett to buy more Occidental has inc incidentally uh, sent shares of the oil company up 10%. Uh, it, with this, he has a history with their... Yada yada, but they he just posted that, so that's interesting that that got posted there. Uh, tainted uh, Eon, did you see that? He said emailing the SEC line to see if they could shed light on why uh, gray status was removed on the error or not. So, did you know that gray status was removed on this one, Kage? I didn't see that on the comments, but I guess hmm. Tainted Eon has uh, commented a couple of times on this stock, so I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, he's also he's also said on here another day of nothing. Yeah, everybody's just trying to figure out why why it jumped in. I maybe a bunch of people uh, were jumping on board because they're loading up for uh, they're waiting on the Iran deal. I don't know. I don't know. They're who knows. I don't know if it's connected to the Iran deal. 
I, I don't think it is either, but I don't know what people were thinking there. I, I just don't know. So, Maybe they uh, saw something cheap that was probably a small, small risk, and they were trying to make an educated guess of where to put the uh, money to help flip the flip the number up to uh, another penny or something. Is my guess. Yeah. We're just going to have to see how this plays out. And uh, if anybody else has any news or background why this is trending, let us know. We can't find it. We just saw it popping up, and we wanted to see what the boards were saying. Uh, that's pretty much what we did on the show for both of these. Do you have anything to add for the show or anything? Or uh, Just uh, be watchful. Don't get into something that you don't understand. And just be wise about your investments. Mm-hmm. And uh, don't make it a dog show. And good night now! <laughs>